Welcome to Special Times with Peter Filosa. Today our guests are Amanda Willis, Marketing Director for the Doug Flutie Foundation, and Tyler Gassy, who's the star of the spectrum and a Flutie Fellow. Tyler is also a fantastic golfer and has competed in the Special Olympic World Games. Welcome, Amanda and Tyler. Thanks for having us. Thank you for inviting me, uh, too. Amanda, what is the mission of the Flutie Foundation? Sure. So the mission of the Flutie Foundation is to help people and families with autism live life to the fullest. And we were founded 25 years ago by NFL legend Doug Flutie and his wife, Lori, when their son, Dougie Jr., was diagnosed with autism when he was three. And so 25 years ago, families didn't have access to the resources that exist today. And over the past 25 years, our mission has only deepened. And we live out our mission by providing direct financial support to families and by providing community grants to autism serving organizations. Is the Flutie Foundation limited to Massachusetts? No, we were founded in Massachusetts and we're really proud to support families and organizations in Massachusetts. And the good thing is that we host a lot of our events all over the U.S. And one of our most notable nationwide events is our Flutie 5K for Autism. And this event started off as a hometown 5K road race. And now it's a nationwide movement with locations in Arizona, Wisconsin, Florida, and we even have a Flutie 5K in Berlin. What are some of the events and activities sponsored by the Flutie Foundation? Yeah, so we really have something for everyone from concerts to running events to golf. And one of our big concerts coming up in August is in celebration of our 25th anniversary, and we'll be hosting the largest concert in the nation for autism acceptance. It is the only concert that is by autistic artists and for the autism community. There will be over 75 autism self-advocate performers, and we'll have amazing special guests, including Cody Lee, who is an autistic winner of America's Got Talent. Sean Stockman from Boys to Men, and Doug Flutie from the Flutie Brothers Band, and we'll have a new edition that will be announced sometime this week. The event will also be sensory friendly, and we'll be partnering with Culture City to make sure this event is as inclusive as possible. I signed up. You did? Are you going to come? Yes. I can't wait to meet you there. What is the Star of the Spectrum, and what do they do for the, for the Flutie Foundation? Sure. So a star of the spectrum is like an ambassador for the Flutie Foundation, and we support them as they pursue their goals. And our Stars of the Spectrum initiative invites autism self-advocate ambassadors to collaborate with the Flutie Foundation to help them pursue their career and life dreams. So STARS is actually an acronym that stands for Spectrum Talent Agency Resources and Support. So basically, it's kind of like a little talent agency where we work with ambassadors on a project basis to pursue their goals. How many stars of the spectrum are there? We have over 50 stars of the Spectrum Ambassadors, and they range from being singers to self-advocates to authors. And if anybody who's working towards any goal or dream is welcome to partner with us to live life to the fullest, you'll actually be hearing from one of our amazing ambassadors on this show. He'll be sharing his inspiring story, and we are very passionate about elevating autism self-advocate ambassadors' voices and stories. So thank you, Peter, for giving us this opportunity. Questions for Tyler. How did you get involved with the Flutie Foundation? Well, uh, it's a long story, but uh, all I can say is that uh, I've actually heard of the Flutie Foundation um, just um, just as it started when he was when Doug Flutie was still a Buffalo Bill in 1998, 99, what have you. Um, in 2008, I was invited to uh, one of their annual golf tournaments at Pine Hills in Plymouth. Uh, we didn't, I didn't get to golf because it was raining out there. I was there down there, and uh, I got to practice uh, for a time before we were called inside because it started raining and it didn't stop. And my um, my golf clubs and my shoes got waterlogged as a result. But I um I had a very good time finally getting to meet uh, Doug Flutie for the first time as well as. Chris Berman and Jojo White, ML Carr, and uh, local newscasters in Boston, and uh, all that stuff. Anyway, um, um, many years later, after that, um, I would be invited to um, certain events such as uh, Booty Foundation benefits and galas, particularly the one in, uh, at TripAdvisor in Needham. Uh, and um, of course, I would make some speaking engagements here and there. and. Uh, uh, a friend of mine who used to be a part of Special Mix Massachusetts, his name is Nick Savarisa. He would join the Flutie Foundation, and uh, 
he would invite me to to certain events, uh, certain galas here and there, and make speeches here and there, and uh, and uh, that's basically how I became involved in the the Flutie Foundation. What is the difference between a star of the spectrum and a Flutie Fellow? A star of the spectrum is, well, actually, it's not necessarily star of the spectrum; it's stars of the spectrum, as a. Uh, Amanda mentioned earlier, it's an acronym for Spectrum Talent Agency Resources and Support. Uh, and this talent agency, Stars of the Spectrum, and enables people living with autism, people like me, to pursue their dream and help people like me grow in their life passions and career goals. And a Flutie Fellow is a, a person with autism who is uh, invited to collaborate with the Flutie Foundation to achieve the following objectives. One, to pursue, to pursue uh, career opportunities, related life goals and passions. Two, promote respect, inclusion, and opportunities for people living with autism spectrum disorder. And three, serve as Flutie Foundation ambassadors. What does it mean for you to be a Flutie Fellow? Well, it feels awesome, first and foremost, to be a Flutie Fellow. It's uh, It feels awesome to be a part of something very, very, very special. And a lot of people like me would feel the same way. And, you know, there was a time when autism was not as well known as it is now. And there were not many resources or awareness about it. I was born, uh, think about it. I was born in 1986. And this was a time when computers were not as widespread as they are now. And uh, the way we uh, search things, the way we look for things in those days um, is, was very difficult. Back then, uh, you would visit your local library to look up the subject of autism. And um, basically, it took a brave man, uh, Doug Flutie in particular, a football star, and his boy's diagnosis to help spread the word. And it's made a huge difference for many families, mine included. And thanks to the Fluties, many people like me have come out of the shadows to be what we can be and have something that would not have been possible have something that would not have been possible before, which is pride, and to be proud of uh, what you are, the way you are, and uh, how you approach the world, and how you look at the world. And, uh, and people like autism, they, they, they look at the world much differently than most people, and, uh, and it's a valuable asset. It's, uh, it's neurodiversity in action. How long have you been a Flutie Fellow? I've been a Flutie Fellow since... Um, I I would say October, November 2021, and uh, I've been a star of the spectrum uh, since last year. Um, I, I don't I don't really know for sure when last year, but I um, in my last birthday uh, last November, I got um, an email um, from Liz Monroe about this uh, new golf venture uh, called Stars of the Spectrum Golf, and uh, and basically it's like a um, it's like a sort of a mini golf tour for golfers on the autism spectrum. It all started back in, well, just before that in 2022, it's inspired by uh, my performance in the special Olympics, uh, USA games in Orlando, where Matt Glumack and I had this epic final round. We we're neck and neck uh, from beginning to end in the final round, but I just happened to come out on top in the end. I, I saw the special Olympics world games on, um, TV recently for in Berlin. Oh, nice. Uh, good for you. I, I I had the opening ceremony taped. I've been meaning to watch it sooner or later. I was wondering if you were there. No, I'm a, I'm afraid I wasn't. I wish I were there, but uh, uh, instead I was golfing in the Lowell City Men's Golf Tournament. It's like a a big deal where I come from. Uh, it's like the like the um. Greater Lowell's answer to the Masters of the U.S. Open and it's held at three different uh -huh. golf courses in the area. And uh, I got to take part in it for the third time in my life. Uh, you have to be like a, a member of one of four golf um, clubs. And I happen to be a member of Nabnasset Lake Country Club, which is in Westford, Massachusetts. And I, I make it a point to um, golf there twice, three times a week. And uh and of course, you have to qualify for the Lowell City Golf Tournament uh, in early June, which I did. And, uh, and in the first round, um, I shot a 77. And in the second round, on the first nine holes, I shot a 32, which is three strokes under par, which is basically like my uh, personal best score in nine holes of golf. I shot a 71 in the second round. And, uh, I was able to qualify. 
What is your proudest moment as a footy fellow? My proudest moment is uh, basically using my talents as a golfer to share my story of the uh, autism, my autism to other people and educate them on how people like me are more than what others perceive them to be. That's uh, that's the one thing I'm proud of as a fluty fellow to help spread the word, to spread awareness that people like me are special. Or we're special human beings. We have special talents and special hearts. How did you get involved with golf and what does golf mean to you? I've been playing the game of golf since I was 10 years old. I got uh, into the game because of Tiger Woods winning the Masters in 1997. And uh, I started taking it up uh, one thing at a time, which is like starting from mini golf. I actually uh, took the golf before Tiger won the Masters. And uh, I started playing mini golf. And then I worked my way up to driving range and then pitch and putt and then nine holes and 18 holes. And uh, a babysitter uh, who played uh, high school football, uh, he would take me to uh, – a golf club in Lowell uh, where he was a member and uh, he taught me about um, the rules of golf and golf etiquette and uh, and years after that I started uh, golfing individually and competing in special Olympic events in the 2000s and I, I competed in my first state event in 2006 and won a gold medal and I've won the state tournament each and every year since 2006 and um, I've also um I also got to go all around the country to compete nationally for Special Olympics. I would go to the USA Games and starting in 2010 in Nebraska, then 2014 in New Jersey, and then 2018 in Seattle, and ultimately last year in Orlando. I, I won the silver medal in my first three appearances in the USA Games. And, of course, you know, uh, last year I won the gold. And, of course, um, golf has allowed me to travel across the country and make new friends and showcase my talents. And for example, in 2011, I was in this tournament uh, called Holes for Hope in Iowa. And I made this very long putt and I measured it at 73 feet, seven inches. And I won myself a pair of shoes because I made the putt on the, what was actually the longest putt hole. How did your interest in golf help you with employment? Well, um, long story short, I was invited to this, um, Flutie holiday extravaganza at Plain Ridge Park um, Casino, I think. Uh, it was back in December 2021, and I took part in this uh, punting contest on stage with uh, Tim Carlson, who's the general manager of the PGA Tour Superstore. And uh, and after that, uh, Tim Carlson asked me if I was interested in working uh, at his uh, location in Natick, and I said yes. Uh, cool. What are the exciting things happening for you in the immediate future? Well, there are two things. Uh, one is that I'm looking forward to this uh, launch of the Stars of the Spectrum Golf, and hopefully uh, hopefully we can start our first tournament sometime later in the fall or the new year. Um, I got invited to Florida earlier this year to take part in a couple of uh, golf tournaments with Ian Kelly and Carter Bonus from Florida and Peter Condon from Spokane, Washington, and we all had a great time uh, golfing in Florida, visiting Doug Flutie's house, and uh, and uh, going to Jersey Mike's and Uncle Matteo's, our sponsors. And um, we took part in a mini contest at their uh, PGA Tour Superstore in Orlando, and we got to golf at Waldorf Astoria. Are you going to be at the concert in, in, in August, Tyler? Yes, that's correct. I'm going to be performing with Spectrum of Sound, and I'm I'm obviously looking forward to it. I mean, uh, I haven't been to Fenway in four years. And uh, I, I mean, to make a pilgrimage in such a manner at Fenway Park is going to be so wicked cool. I I hope to meet you. Yeah, me too. And I hope to meet Amanda too. We definitely will. We'll make it happen. Any final thoughts or comments for today's show? I like to admit to something that I'm very proud of as a golfer. Uh, I, I told you I've gone to four USA games, won three silvers and a gold. And I've made two holes in one, uh, one in 2013 at a golf course in my hometown, which no longer exists anymore. And, uh, and another one that, um, at my club, Nab Nasset on the second hole in 2020. And of course, um, in 2012, um, obviously, um, until that gold medal, nothing could beat uh, that moment where I met Tiger Woods. And I, I took part in this, uh, pro-am event, uh, with Gary Woodland and uh, we finished in third and Gary Woodland made a hole in one. 
And basically, uh, someone whispered in the Tigers' ear that um, that uh, my team finished in third at the pro am. You know what he said? He said, "Congratulations!" I'm like, "Whoa!" I was not expecting that. I mean, when someone as big a name as Tiger Woods comes up to you and says something like that, you know you did something special. And that's uh, one of my proudest moments uh, uh, in my uh, golf experience, obviously. I just wanted to thank you for the opportunity to come on the show. And it was so amazing to learn more about you, Tyler, and all the things that you do for the Flutie Foundation and also with your golf career. Um, it was amazing getting to watch all the interview and to be a part of it as well. So thank you so much for having us. We wish to thank Amanda and Tyler for appearing on Special Times with Peter Filosa. Please consider attending one of the events to help su support the mission of the Flutie Foundation. Please stay tuned for the next episode of Special Times. Goodbye.